Another realization I made after I had moved out of my parents' house was that my immune system wasn't as shitty as I thought it was. Let me explain. So when I lived with my parents, I got sick all the time. Like I would catch flu so easily. I had irregular periods, migraines, sleep paralysis. Um, there was a point in time where I was going like blind in my left eye. I got the stomach flu slash food poisoning, which is kind of the same thing. That's like when you're shitting and throwing up at the same time. So often, like it happened to me at least four to five times within three years and then when i moved out i started feeling so much better and i got sick way less often i started getting more sleep my period was regular um i had less migraines my eyesight was fine my sleep paralysis reduced a lot i would get the flu or cold at least like three to five times a year and now i get it maybe once a year if that it was insane to see the difference and I didn't realize that there was such a difference until maybe two years after I had moved out. But it all made sense because I was reading these books like Your Body Keeps the Score, um, What Happened to You, The Deepest Well. And if you guys want to read any of those books, they're linked in my Amazon favorites. You can go onto my Instagram, Hamali.mystery, and um, the link to my Amazon storefront is in the bio. But anyways, through those books, I learned that um, because I was constantly stressed out, my cortisol levels were really high. And when your cortisol levels are high, you're basically in like fight or flight mode, which means your body is using all of its energy to survive. So it starts taking away from other systems in your body. So like your reproductive system, your digestive system, your immune system, because your body's like, I'm not trying to reproduce or digest food right now because I'm just trying to survive. And so because I was constantly stressed out and anxious within my home environment, my body was in this survival mode and it was just shutting down. And I started developing so many physical health problems because of it. And it wasn't until I started healing myself and going to therapy, reading these books, journaling, meditating, etc., that I understood how much your mental and physical health are interconnected. And I don't think enough people talk about how your traumas and your stress and just your overall mental health really is a leading factor in how your physical health deteriorates. So if you've ever moved out of your house or are just like no longer in a toxic environment and are now in a safe space and you notice that your physical health has improved, it's probably because your mental health has improved.